Hey guys, welcome back. We are the Adventure Crew and we've been gone for a couple of years and we're going to get back to making videos. Uh, we're going to change it up a little bit. Um, not only are we going to go on adventures, we're going to have some experiments. We're going to have some car builds. We're going to have some motorcycle builds. We're going to have some just fun projects. Anything that we think that you guys might like to tag along and watch, we're going to put here on this channel. So stay tuned and hang on for the ride. Hey Adventure Crew, make sure that you take all the precautions you need to to be safe when doing these experiments. Things like safety glasses, fire extinguishers, water hoses, and a quick shut off for any electric you might be using. Stay safe out there kids. Today on the Adventure Crew, we are going to see what it takes to catch a coffee pot on fire and maybe even some other appliances. Stay tuned. The flash point of motor oil is 420 to 485 degrees Fahrenheit. Is this coffee pot hot enough? Maybe, let's find out. I'm going to add about four cups of used motor oil. And it already looks like coffee. Very thick coffee, but. Alright, I guess we'll see what happens. It appears to be working. Upon further inspection, we thought the oil left inside the coffee pot was just from when we poured. But on further inspection, it, there appears to be coffee grounds from where they came in. So very little oil got through, but there was some. And I doubt that the coffee pot has enough heat capacity to ignite the oil and the pot is only warm to the touch. This appears to be a bust in the experiment. Let's try something else and see if we can get that to light on fire. Did the oil kill the coffee pot? Well, we're going to put some water in here and find out. Yeah, it's still a little mixed in there with the oil and the coffee grounds, but that's okay. There was also a little bit of oil in the coffee grounds. But that's fine, it's not going to hurt anything. Are we going to check back in in a few minutes? Yeah. The coffee pot still works and still makes coffee, but it is going very slow from all the oil getting sludged up. It smoked for a few seconds, but then stopped. I think it might still work after a few good rounds of um, it's pretty water. Warm. It's pretty warm. And it's dripping still a fair amount. Look how warm. It still looks like oil, though. Yep. Well, yeah. All right. Let's see what our next steps are. Okay. Since there was no fire with the oil, used motor oil, we are going to go to the automatic transmission fluid, which has a flash point of 302 degrees and 383 degrees. Let's see, plug it in and see what happens. Oh, 
I think it's still burning off the oil and water. Oh, wait. Good amount of smoke or steam, whatever it is. Oh, crap. That happened fast. It was still warm from the other experiments. Yeah. I think it might have used up all its, whatever was left in the tank. Think so? Yeah. Let's go check it. Okay. I think we're not going to get any fire with this either. Hey Adventure Crew, Adventure Day had taken over. This experiment's a little bit more dangerous. The flash point of rubbing alcohol is only 77 degrees. Though it's a day after Christmas and it's like 73 degrees out here, maybe 3 degrees would actually cause this to catch on fire. But we're going to try an experiment where we put a little dab of rubbing alcohol on top of this paper towel, place it underneath the coffee pot, and just see if the warmer itself is enough to ignite it. Now we have emptied it with all the oil and the transmission fluid, we have a little bit of drizzle in there, so hopefully we won't have too much of a fire. We're actually going to be starting the coffee pot from up on the hill about 30 feet away. So let's see what happens. Let's get this experiment started. Definitely some hissing. You might want to grab the hose from down there. You got some smoke. That's not the sizzling of the coffee pot, it's the sizzling of the water. Well, I think it stopped. I don't think it's going to do anything. I think it all evaporated. Okay. I'll unplug. Okay. Stay there.
All gone. Smoky. Rubbing alcohol is up here. Go for a few more moments. Okay. Did I turn off when I was down there? It doesn't look like it. Can you look through your viewfinder? No. No, camera quality is not that good. I think it's on. Looks like it's on. Yeah. I don't think it's doing anything. Okay, we're safe. Rolling. Yep, still a little smoky. Paper towel started to burn. Not quite enough. You know what would come in handy? What? That uh, that thermometer, that electric thermometer laser thingy <laughs> at right. AutoZone. I don't think it's going to do anything. Okay. Definitely started to burn though. I think it more melted the paper towel. It's very moist. Hmm. I think but this if it was running. That yeah, it would be that's over on the side. You think it caused it to not Possibly. Yeah, because that, that side's the side that it would be dripping on. That, that it's still oily on the back side. All right, let's regroup and come back. Okay. It seems that setting coffee pots on fire is a lot harder than it looks. Not gasoline. Well, we didn't try gasoline. That's a little too dangerous. But nothing, nothing will set this thing on fire that we seem that can that we seem confined. That's not too dangerous. The only thing we haven't really tried is gasoline, which we're not going to try. But we've tried um, rubbing alcohol, gas, not gasoline, rubbing alcohol, transmission fluid, and um, motor oil. And nothing seems to set this thing on fire. So I guess it's not going to happen.